hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel okay so in this video we will be talking about the rhino linux now if you don't know rhino linux is basically the rolling ubuntu you know that ubuntu releases are fixed and there are two type of releases uh, ubuntu have one is long term lts that is supported for the five years and another is the interim releases and that is supported for the nine months so ubuntu always uses a stable base and some updates security updates up to five years or nine months but this rhino linux is actually it is built from the uh, ubuntu daily builds okay so it is actually rolling release and it uses the packages that is uh, in the development uh, repository of the ubuntu okay so basically this is the rhino linux you can see this is the entry in the distro watch uh, website currently the ranking is not uh, that good okay but uh, of course uh, uh, in this distribution is a really special one because this uses a customized xfc desktop i will show you guys that uh, what are the pros and cons what are the benefit and what are the uh, limitation or uh, issues with this rhino linux uh, should you use it okay so stick to this video and if you are new to my channel then of course subscribe my channel to get uh, notification of my uh, latest videos about the linux and open source world okay so just uh, go to first the uh, uh, rhino linux website this is the website rhino linux.org and here uh, you can see uh, the latest version is 2023.2 is out and you can uh, you can uh, read the announcement but to download you just click download here and uh, so select your edition so this is the 64 bit pc this is the arm and this is the raspberry pi okay so i'm doing this so i have this 64 bit uh, laptop so basically download some mirrors just click here and the size you can see uh, is uh, uh, almost two gigabytes and so yeah, you have two options one is this mirror of rhino linux either you download from here or here and it or uh, source forge um, okay so basically uh, direct download uh, you can you can you can see here and also if you want torrent download so uh, there is an option so this is the linux tracker.org okay actually this uh, website has a collection of uh, open source uh, torrents uh, uh, about the linux operating systems and so this is the uh, rhino linux you can see uh, rhino linux uh, this iso so if you click here so the torrent will be downloaded and you can and uh, yeah, you can see uh, uh, download torrent file now so basically with the BitTorrent client you can also download uh, this uh, rhino linux and after downloading the iso you have to make a bootable usb drive okay either using rufus or belena hr or ventoy whatever uh, you like okay now i'm showing you guys the installation process in the uefi mode okay so this is the grub screen you can see and uh, you will notice that this is this uses the grub 2.12 version okay so very latest grub version it is using okay and now uh, just uh, hit enter so the live system will boot up so i'm doing in the virtual box and this is very much a nice uh, logo okay of rhino linux all right so this is you can see uh, this is called the unicorn desktop okay this is actually uh, made from the xfc desktop environment oh, so installation so just uh, double click here to open up the calamias installer of the rhino linux so click next so american english is the default and choose your location so i'm in india so i'm choosing the kolkata location click next and english us make this default okay so you have two options either you do manual partitioning or you can erase the whole disk so if you already have some operating system so you can use the manual partitioning okay and if you don't have any any of the operating system so basically uh, you can see okay uh, okay and uh, what uh, uh, you have to use uh, uh, in the uh, root file system so ext4 is my choice okay so you can also use the btrfs for the root partition okay and uh, okay and then click next and the username i am just creating all right and the password i am giving and click next 
All right, so this is the summary. So uh, 30 GB of space uh, of the ext4 and one is FAT32 uh, uh, partition needed uh, for the UEFI booting. If you already have a FAT32 partition, don't delete it or don't format it. Okay, just assign to this. Okay, and uh, now click install and install now. And now you have to wait a little uh, to completely uh, install the system. So after installation, uh, let's uh, boot for the first time. This is the grub screen. You can see 2.12 version of the grub. So this is the Ubuntu basically. So enter. So this is very nice to look. Okay, so this is uh, the login screen and uh, I have to enter my password. And here this is the session. So Unicorn session. So this is actually made from the uh, for, from the XFC desktop. So login and the blur effect you can see and uh, well so we are now in the unicorn desktop right and uh, you launcher the hotkey is super s all right so this you can see uh, this is very much nice now actually uh, in the website it claims that when you uh, boot up for the first time uh, you will get a setup wizard for the for the desktop okay to install necessary packages but i have noticed no such setup wizard you can see and this is the application launcher so a lot of applications are there you can see and this is the search bar so you can search anything not anything actually you can search only apps not the settings um, let's talk about the desktop so this is basically the xfc desktop but uh, with some uh, customization so what are the customization uh, here is the thing uh, suppose uh, this is i am opening the file manager this is the thunor file manager okay and this is the desktop switcher so if you click here so you are getting a nice thing here so you can see there are four virtual desktops are here so you can you can uh, switch and also uh, if you go to this corner you will see these are the applications so some category wise applications you can see so if you click here so the category will open up okay so this is actually this is called the, the xf dashboard okay and also there is a clock here so <laughs> analog clock is there okay and these are the virtual desktop switcher so this is unique here and uh, also you can you can change the uh, uh, wallpaper from here desktop settings and uh, uh, now let's see that uh, what applications uh, we have here so so you can see uh, the appearance the bluetooth and the file manager is uh, thunor here so and uh, uh, this is the uh, xf dashboard settings okay so you can you can go here and you can adjust the settings and also window manager tweaks and all that okay so session and startup so you can manage many things actually most of the things is already in the uh, uh, general uh, xfc desktop okay uh, nothing that much special in this uh, in this uh, desktop environment uh, you will see and uh, if you uh, if you want to change the look just to go to appearance so here uh, you are getting a lot of themes and icons uh, to change right so i'm just uh, showing you guys a few and uh, well you can you can you can see uh yaru themes are uh, pre-installed here so a lot of yaru themes uh, you can switch here you can see right and also the icons uh, the yaru icons all the yaru icons uh, you can see the prussian green yaru icons okay so this is very much uh, good looking and uh, that's that's cool okay that looks cool okay and uh, otherwise all things are with the xfc desktop okay uh, not that much fancy compositor is there but um, all over uh, it is a good desktop and uh, the app support is good this is the unicorn desktop and uh, this is the rhino linux 2023.2 and also you can uh, do the system upgrade from here also okay the kernel it is using 6.5 so latest kernel it is using this is the ubuntu rolling release so all the latest softwares you will get here okay and now i'm talking about that uh, uh, you should use it or not okay uh, but uh, the issues i'm talking about here okay so what are the issues i have faced because i have installed uh, this operating system in one of my laptop okay and that uh, laptop already had uh, two operating system one is windows 10 and one is linux mint 
so okay so after installation actually what uh, i have faced that uh, i was unable to open up the other drives okay other drives uh, that is windows drive or other drives okay because some authentication failure or whatever the reason uh, but i was unable to uh, open up the other drives okay only ext4 file system drive i was uh, uh, able to open so my linux mint partition uh, get opened but my windows partitions or other drives are not open uh, i don't know uh, why it is so maybe some missing packages or whatever so rhino linux team should uh, fix it okay and also the second issue is that uh, i am not getting any uh, setup wizard to uh, apply the apply the things okay and uh, now i'm uh, talking about the uh, package manager so basically a rhino package uh, that is uh, controlling all the packages here uh, what the snaps the apt packages okay and some uh, pack stall packages okay so basically uh, I will recommend that uh, uh, please install the synaptic package manager here so that uh, you can uh, control the packages in a detailed way and also uh, you can uh, uh, install packages uh, from the command line also so no problem uh, with that okay so in the new fetch command you can see uh, many more things okay so the kernel version and also unicorn window manager and the themes okay and uh, the ram usage you can see uh, the ram usage is 811 uh, maybe byte so almost 900 mb of ram it is using so pretty much lightweight you can see a lightweight desktop environment so uh, you should use it or not well uh, this is your choice because okay if you want latest software so you can uh, use it and with the ubuntu uh, base so ubuntu packages you will get here okay and but with uh, these precautions okay so that this is a not a stable distro of course this is not a stable distro some issues uh, you will face here because uh, this is built uh, built on the uh, ubuntu daily builds so not that stable os you are getting here and i will recommend <laughs> not to use this um, instead you can use some arch based distro yes arch linux is also providing you the latest softwares but with greater stability i can say okay uh, uh, rhino linux team uh, have to work more uh, for the stability and uh, uh, clear the basic things okay uh, for the desktop usage of a uh, common people okay so so that is that is the need and uh, you can see uh, otherwise uh, it is uh, okay okay you can you can use it if you uh, advanced linux user so you can <laughs> basically uh, now i i told that um, uh, i was unable to mount the partition but yes uh, i can mount the partition through command line okay by uh, typing the sudo mount then uh, hard disk and then the slash mnt so uh, manually i can mount the partition uh, with the command line okay but this is uh, not the thing i want okay this is not a user friendly thing to use the command line to uh, 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 mount the partition okay so so you can give it a try but uh, i will not recommend to use this uh, for now okay uh, because rhino linux team uh, has to work uh, uh, in more issues okay to uh, to uh, uh, to do this uh, operating system better okay so that's all uh, i have today and uh, if you like this video if you are enjoying this video then also subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon okay so thanks for watching guys so see you in a next video very soon till then take care and goodbye